So this is WinMerge already running on, on my computer here. And um, to do the comparison, I will first drag and drop the source directory. In fact, I'll select the project for lab 13 and take the source and drag and drop inside WinMerge. So WinMerge automatically accepts this as, as the location that I want to be able to compare. And this time I'll be comparing directories, not just single files, but directories. And uh, the first file or folder is going to appear um, in WinMerge on the left-hand side. So this is the latest on the left-hand side. Uh, lab 12, if I select Lab 12, the previous laboratory, uh, this is the source uh, directory that I'm going to drag and drop to the second one. And now I think that's all I need at this stage, just compare, okay? And uh, WinMerge uh, tells me that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, two files that are different and the one file is right only and the other one is left only. If you'd like to compare files which are, which are which have different names like lab12 and lab13 main uh, function implementation file. You can just press one of these and press control down and select the second one and then right click and say compare. And this way you see that those files are actually identical. So we never made any changes to our main function and which is nice, it's, it's fine the way it is. Okay, so now I'm going to close this and instead, let's start with the header file. So what are the differences in the main um, uh, header file? So just compare, okay. And there is a new handler for check button where we can do something useful with the when the user makes the selection. We can uh, just acknowledge that this being uh, checked. Uh, so that's nice to have just like we have it with radio buttons. And of course, there is new static callback for the check uh, checkbox. And they all, uh, all of these callbacks look very similar. And uh, so this is the lab 12 and lab 13. So fine enough, two new functions. Uh, we can see that's, that's the change that took place. And now the implementation, when we compare, uh, notice that uh, we made our decision in lab 12 uh, to add selection, uh, true selection for the first one, and then click the radio button. It's missing here in the new version of, um, of the main window implementation file. So let's actually manually bring this over. I like what we did over here so that we can, uh, you know, make our selection. And I can just in WinMerge, uh, you can edit code. You don't you don't just uh, browsing or or uh, reading it. You can actually copy. Okay, you can just copy the code and, and and paste it if you want. So copy and paste right here. Okay, and when we do something like this, we can click save, and then you can refresh everything. Okay, so you see that now these two lines are the same. So the new callback for check field is added and of course it's pointing to static callback check button. All right, and uh, now uh, let's first finish with, uh, let's just skip this part for now and let's first uh, finish uh, observing that there's the this new uh, click check, uh, check button uh, which simply prints the information uh, the selection integer value of the selection and the callback the static callback right here uh, just simply uh, recovers the main window pointer and calls uh, click check button okay so uh, calling this main window uh, click check button which is no longer a static function so here uh, we really don't do much it's just just printing something on the console window for obviously tracing and debugging purposes. But again, in the future, this could be connected to some logic inside the, inside the code. And now finally, 
uh, we have uh, we added some code to take care of uh, uh, the status of the checkbox for the line we say let's deactivate it and whenever it's a circle or rectangle we want to activate it so these are member functions of the checkbox and uh, other window uh, other widgets also have this um, this type of uh, activate deactivate uh, function supported so we can activate and deactivate other widgets but this is here we're first time that we actually find it useful so this is a demo of of these um, uh, of these activations and deactivations so if you noticed originally uh, originally what i did uh, was uh, uh, that um, uh, when 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 i started the application um, there was no no selection made at all and uh, the the checkbox was not deactivated but i'm expecting now that if i activate as we did in the prior lab if we activate the radio button line for the line uh, type of uh, primitive uh, uh, drawing uh, then we also click radio button with radio id line so this should pass through this here and uh, basically the the fill checkbox should be deactivated so let's verify it with this change so this is the latest change which we did in win merge i did not use visual studio editor to make this change i did this in uh, win merge because i just liked this piece right here right so i just copied from here and pasted into this file because here it was missing so anyway let's uh, build right here and uh, see what we have so nicely this time the line is selected as a default type of uh, drawing primitive and uh, respectfully the field option is deactivated so that's good result and so of course this is the result of our lab 13 and uh, as always i suggest that you clean the results of your build before um, before you exit your project so normally just uh, uh, you can close all the windows right here by uh, <clears throat> uh, by closing all tabs and then uh, build clean and then you can close the solution so this completes our lab again this is a self-learning lab but quite soon we're going to have homework assignment that will uh, require you to uh, transfer this uh, you know you can you can try to um, essentially copy this logic uh, into your your own project and uh, try to make the radio buttons uh, work for you in the new project